my name is Mohammed Al Bashir. I'm uh, I'm from Sudan. Uh, I have been active in ICANN since 2002. Uh, uh, at first, I just found uh, a non-profit organization, uh, an internet chapter uh, in my country, Sudan. Uh, then that chapter evolved to be to become uh, the country's STLD registry, uh, and since then, I have been involved in. Uh, 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 Country code top the top level domain management uh, in Sudan and, and elsewhere. I have also uh, worked in different projects related to internet development in Africa. I have been in FTLD uh, Council uh, on ICANN and was in the CCNSO Council, which is the constituency that's uh, gather all uh, uh, CCLD managers in the world. Uh, so uh, have been uh, involved in the internet uh, area for some time. I think this is, was uh, one of the biggest ICANN meetings I've attended so far. Uh, I think uh, the new GTLD program uh, has bring lots of momentum and energy to the organization. Lots of people are attending this meeting for the first time. Uh, it, it is uh, an interesting meeting to, to see and how, how to see the program itself is, is really evolving and moving ahead. Everyone is excited about new GTLDs. Uh, the city is is great. Prague is uh, is very nice place to be. Uh, nice weather, nice people, friendly people. Uh, definitely, it was a very enjoyable meeting. That Africa is considered to be a geographical application, and geographical applications have certain requirements according to ICANN applicant guidebook. Uh, those requirements cover, for example, uh, government support within that region uh, or that geographical region. Uh, and the Africa, to my understanding, with the backing uh, of the African Union and the backing and support of uh, all the African uh, governments, uh, is, is to be considered the only official application out there uh, that fulfill the requirement of ICANN and at the same time have support from the region, from the governments and the support of the community itself, which is something uh, very important we need to also recognize. Uh, the African internet community is a multi-stakeholder uh, community it involves governments, civil society, uh, CSTLD registries, uh, registrars and uh, internet experts at large. And we have this composition of, of, of uh, different stakeholders backing up and supporting this application. So I think it's in terms of uh, um, calling it as an official um, application that definitely correct according to the requirement of ICANN and the support that we're seeing for the application. Uh, very positive responses are, are received from, from different um, people uh, who are attending the, the, the meetings. Um, uh, I think everyone is really looking forward to how their Africa really could contribute to the development of, of Internet in, in Africa. And that's very important. Everyone is passionate about developing Internet and supporting a hub in Africa. Go to, that, uh, to the next step and bridge the div digital divide that currently is there. So uh, everyone was uh, happy and welcoming uh, this this project, uh, and um, and we have to also consider that there there are few applications coming from Africa in this round. So in total, we have a 17 application in the new GTLD uh, process. So the Africa definitely have a significant as an application that have a, a, a big majority of support, and also one of the few applications that's coming from Africa, that is critical because we need to also to have Africa involved on, on those global initiatives and, and not left behind. So Dor Africa definitely could be um, an example of how things could be evolved, uh, run, uh, managed and uh, supported by Africa. Uh, definitely this is, this is uh, a new uh, area that I think we, we definitely will look for to see Dor Africa operational.
Door Africa could be a vehicle for developing uh, internet services in Africa because definitely it could help in uh, in, in, in supporting different business um, uh, models in Africa. For example, we don't have a registrar's business, business in Africa. I think currently we have about four or five accredited African registrars based in Africa. We need to broaden that, uh, that area. We need to have more uh, African registrars. Dur Africa could definitely support and help in that approach by supporting African registrars and by supporting as well uh, African CCTLD registries. Dar Africa is going to contribute back to the internet community in Africa. There is uh, plans and ideas about establishing Dar Africa Foundation. This foundation will be working to implement certain projects that's going to benefit the internet in Africa. For example, uh, CCTLD development programs or projects. That's very important. And registrar development as well. We need more registrars in Africa to be working in this area. Uh, content development project is something as well is very important. At the end, we need content, African content or content related to Africa or business in Africa or, or entertainment in Africa or any different uh, 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 content related to Africa to be under the Africa. That, that could also encourage content development. Uh, the foundation definitely will work in, uh, in partnership with other major stakeholders, either within, the, within Africa or outside Africa, uh, to work in to work this project uh, and ensure also uh, surpluses or revenues coming from the project is also directed to projects related to internet in Africa.